All right, I have one of these Grow Your Own Giant Saguaro Cactus self-starter kits. Comes with uh, seed soil pot. Uh, it claims the seeds germinate indoors anywhere in three to 10 days. So it came with this little pot and it says to pour in the soil, put the seeds, uh, cover it with an eighth of an inch of dirt, put an inch of water in the bowl and put it in indirect light. So that was my first approach to follow the instructions. Um, basically, water dried out, nothing happened, but you know, mold grew, nothing germinated, and it was sopping wet. And then I added another inch of water and still nothing happened. So let me show you the seeds. Uh, this is what they look like, these uh, little black uh, sesame seeds, basically. And so I figured out a different setup, and this is it. It's a bath tower with a powerful heat lamp that uses 125 watts. It's used for hatching chicks, actually. But uh, I figured I needed to emulate the kind of desert heat that these seeds would be germinating in. And these two lights uh, just have uh, weak LED lights with uh, splitter sockets, so I can fit two in each. These are aluminum clamp lamp reflectors and that helps uh, increase the amount of light output. So I have two experiments going on here but uh, first I want to talk about temperature you know over there it's uh, 41.4 Celsius now granted this is a black plastic object that absorbs a lot of heat but the elevation here is a little higher so it might be even hotter plus it's uh, wrapped up in plastic wrap so I basically took a sand, uh, sort of a desert soil mixture with good drainage and I planted a bunch of seeds. I just sprinkled them on top instead of burying them and after six days, uh, let's see what happened. So that's what the seeds look like and I have two examples of success on day six. Over here you can see uh, an empty half of the seed and that's what it's like. It's sort of a green bulb with a wispy white tail. I think the root system comes out of that wispy white tail and finds its way in. And let's see, this is a this angle. It's kind of hard to tell, but you know, you can see the seed on top. Let me rotate this a little bit. So yeah, that's uh, what it looks like. It's sort of a forked succulent and it has the same kind of uh, fuzzy white structure underneath. So I thought there would be no mold growth at 40 plus Celsius, which is equivalent to, let me see, uh, 104 Fahrenheit. So this is uh, nearly 110, I would imagine. But there you have it, you know, two seeds have grown mold. I don't know why only those two have grown mold. and. Maybe the others are in process of growing mold, but uh, that's the risk you take with such a high humidity setting. But, um, you know, I don't want to let these dry out. And over here, you can actually see yet another baby saguaro cactus germinating. So, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, a third example of success. So I should have a bunch of baby cacti on my way. I haven't seen any spines yet. But uh, it's very interesting to see what these look like. I've never seen baby succulents. So it's only been six days. I'll show you another update probably within the next few days as to how these things are growing. This is a video mini series, like many of my plant growing series. And I'll get rid of this uh, mold hazard in the meantime. I'm tempted to spray some hydrogen peroxide, but I won't. I think this situation is so far under control. I think that one could be infested as well. So for this biggest cactus, uh, if you look at the seed husk, it seems to have a little bit of mold on it. I'm not sure if that is, but this one seems clean. And that seed has mold on it. You know, there's a few, like these two, that have a lot of mold. So I'm just going to get rid of these and try not to spread the spores, although that's probably impossible. I thought the high heat could prevent mold growth, but you know, we'll see what happens over the next few days. Uh, 
check back for my second update.